Bitcoin mining. Now, if you haven't watched my video on blockchain technology, kindly start by watching the video on blockchain technology so you may understand the context of what we mean by Bitcoin mining. So in the video on blockchain technology, we explain that the cryptocurrency backdrop or the cryptocurrency bedrock is based on blockchain technology. And in that process in blockchain technology, there are people who we call cryptocurrency miners. And what cryptocurrency mining is, Cryptocurrency mining is the process of actually creating cryptocurrencies. And I want to explain to you how this is done in three ways. The first way, when cryptocurrencies were created, they were not supposed to be given to people for free because we wanted to create something called proof of work that shows that you've done something to be able to earn a cryptocurrency. Now, how this proof of work was able to be achieved, it was through something we call cryptocurrency mining. And what cryptocurrency mining is, it's a computer solving mathematical equations. And as a reward, when the computer gets the mathematical equations right, it gets a portion of Bitcoin. Now, in the beginning, imagine, people could be guessing these mathematical equations, people could be trying to figure them out, and as they do figure out themselves, as they get the answer right, they get a reward, and that reward is cryptocurrency. But obviously, computers are much smarter and faster than human beings in processing, and because of that, people started to use computers. And as time went by, people started to want stronger or better computers to be able to solve these mathematical equations so that they may earn more Bitcoin. And as time went by, we now have an industry known as cryptocurrency mining machines. These are called ASIC miners. And what these machines do is they solve these mathematical equations up until they get the answer right. And when they get the answer right, they're rewarded in cryptocurrency. Now, the second phase of it all to understand it, and all this happens within the context of blockchain technology. The second phase of it all, ladies and gentlemen, is when these cryptocurrency miners plug into the Bitcoin network and they begin to approve and validate transactions on the blockchain. And as a reward, they get cryptocurrency Bitcoin as a reward. And what this basically means is when you're sending Bitcoin from one person to the other, that transaction is validated and approved by these cryptocurrency mining machines. And as a result, these machines get a reward in Bitcoin. Basically put, when you send money to somebody in your bank account, the bank that you're using to send money, they have a system in the back end that actually checks, do you have money in the account you're trying to send money from? Does the person who you're trying to send money to also have an account? Do you have enough balance that you're able to do this? Is the money in your account actually there? Does it belong to you? All these checks are done automatically, but at the end of the day, when you send money to somebody who you do so through a bank account, they receive this money. The same thing with the Bitcoin network. When we send money to somebody in the blockchain network, what happens is everybody who's plugged in utilizing the computer and literally what we mean is they take a computer and they fill it up usually with graphic cards and these computers what they do is they begin to solve these mathematical equations or they solve these problems of it does the person actually have the bitcoin in their account can they send the bitcoin over are the bitcoins actually theirs all these things are all done in the background and at the end of that process the person then receives Bitcoin. And in the third way, what this blockchain is doing is it's recording a record of each and every transaction that's going place. So every single block, when a transaction is done on a blockchain, when you send money to somebody on a Bitcoin network, that money that you're sending, that transaction, that's called a block. That block is then sent to everybody who's connecting their computer to that Bitcoin network. And as a result, that those people that solve those mathematical equations through their computers, they then receive a transaction and that block is then recorded. And that block is then called the blockchain, which is basically a series of blocks that are put together and that's called a blockchain. Now, that transaction that these cryptocurrency miners receive, you can call that a transaction fee the same way your bank charges you a transaction fee. What's interesting to note about cryptocurrency mining and the concept called proof of work is that for you to be able to create bitcoins, you can't just guess it, 
You can't just get them out of thin air. You actually need to buy a computing machine or a supercomputer or a Bitcoin mining machine to be able to create Bitcoin. So you would have to spend money in buying a machine to be able to mine these Bitcoins for you. And why do we use the word mining? We use the word mining because we understand that when you mine something, you're getting a mineral out of somewhere and you utilize machinery to get that mineral out. And that's basically why we say mining. Because you're using a supercomputer to be able to create Bitcoin or be able to get Bitcoin out in this blockchain network. Now, the process of mining, ladies and gentlemen, is a simple process where you need a supercomputer, internet, and lots of electricity. Now, as we all know, Bitcoin mining uses a lot of electricity. So there's the cost of the electricity, there's the cost of the internet, and there's also the cost of the supercomputer that you're using to mine. And as you understand, as you continue to mine, create more Bitcoins, you'll understand that computers need a cool environment or else they overheat. So you'd need air conditioning. You need a good building to keep these computers. And this is what people have now called cryptocurrency farming or mining where basically people set up mining rigs, these supercomputers that validate and approve transactions on a daily basis and receive a reward as that cryptocurrency. And every single day, these cryptocurrencies are being created. Now, a lot of people usually say, why is the Bitcoin price so high? Why is Bitcoin worth so much? Think about it, ladies and gentlemen. For you to create Bitcoin, you need a supercomputer, electricity, you need... Um, a good functioning conditional room that's going to be air conditioned. You need a safe space, obviously, so nobody can steal this computer from you. You need electricity to make sure that your computer is running 24 seven in that network to be able to create these cryptocurrencies for you. And that process is called cryptocurrency mining. Now, interesting facts about cryptocurrency mining. Most cryptocurrencies have been created in countries, or rather most cryptocurrency mining machines have been created in countries like China, where they're able to get access to these uh, uh, devices in a very simple or cheap way. But what has happened over time is governments have started to ban people from mining cryptocurrencies because cryptocurrency utilizes a lot of electricity. And as a result, this is non-renewable energy. This is usually coal. This is usually electricity that's being used by, by systems that create pollution. And governments have started to crack down on cryptocurrency mining. Now, when a lot of people hear governments are cracking down on cryptocurrency mining, they automatically think that governments are cracking down on cryptocurrency. No. They're cracking down on the process of using a computer to create these cryptocurrencies. And as a result, the price of cryptocurrencies or Bitcoin continues to increase because it becomes harder and harder for each person to produce a cryptocurrency. So when you buy a cryptocurrency in exchange, you're buying it from somebody else who has actually mined or created this cryptocurrency through utilizing this supercomputer. Now, cryptocurrency mining is very profitable if you do it on your own. There's been a lot of scams all around the world of people that have been given their money to somebody else to buy this computer for them and what usually happens at the end of the day is they end up losing their money through this process. My company has sourced the best cryptocurrency mining machines in the world and we are able to deliver these machines to you to your doorstep so you can plug it in in your own garage in your own house and you can start creating your own cryptocurrencies for yourself at cost. Literally, you join the myriads of people around the world that are utilizing this technology to create their own cryptocurrencies in their own house. And in the next video, ladies and gentlemen, that I'll be doing, I'm going to be showing you how my cryptocurrency machines are actually mining for me in my own premises and how I'm able to make money utilizing cryptocurrency machine to create these cryptocurrencies for me. Leave a comment in the, in the comment section saying, show us proof and I will show you how my cryptocurrency machine is actually mining or creating cryptocurrencies for me on a daily basis and how you can get involved in doing the same thing. If you want to get involved, kindly contact my company utilizing my website where we'll be able to send you more information on how you can start mining cryptocurrencies today. All you need is a supercomputer, electricity, stable internet connection and a cool room and you can literally start printing money printing your own cryptocurrencies on a daily basis. 
If you've enjoyed this video and you want to understand how this whole system works or how blockchain technology works, kindly watch this video where I explain how exactly how blockchain technology works. Thank you.